Professor James Woodhausen from De Montfort University, Professor of Forecasting and Innovation, and author of, among other things, uh, co-author of Energize, A Future for Energy. I want to ask you, do you not find the IT community like the creative community, with the exception of Lucy, who's going to follow me, rather narcissistic and unwilling to step outside its own wonderfulness and apply itself to some of the real, real problems in the world. If you take London, I mean, there are no houses for entrepreneurs. There are no houses for immigrants. The houses that exist sleep eight poles to a room. When are we going to apply IT on top of Wikipedia, it's not a substitute for Wikipedia, to help build mass manufactured housing, which doesn't have to be customized, because if you talk to my son, he would do anything for any kind of home rather than live with me. So, you know, uh, we can have the bells and whistles, but we need mass manufacturer with robots just in time, and then maybe some 3D stuff and customize. So that's one thing, because we don't have housing in London anymore. Already mentioned was signing. They don't have any signs in London. And are we going to use electronics and IT to make bigger signs for older people? self-cleaning size signs for this filthy town, and signs for the multilingual community and you know the immigrants. Now, energy is important. Events in India should confirm that to us. The whole focus of Boris, like that of Ken, is on sustainable. What he's not focusing on is building a new energy supply that can meet the demands of tomorrow. Now, I know in Silicon Valley, there's a lot of work on electric cars, not very successful. There's some work on amorphous silicon, not very successful for solar. So wh when are we going to get the IT community to gird up its loins, and you can play an ambassadorial role in this. It's not for Wikipedia, it's for you in your role here, now you're here, which is great, um, to make sure that the lights are on to power the servers that we can't have because of the uh, free speech laws. And my final <laughs> point is, research and development I tend to agree that the government shouldn't be involved in massive enterprises, although I do think, I'm sure you agree, with Adam Smith and even Kit Meek of old will agree that the government does have a role in sponsoring and financing basic research, long-term research, which the market won't do. But the bigger role for government is to raise the level of debate around R&D so people know what it is and so that retailers, property people, and bankers actually spend some time in labs understanding what real achievement is rather than what they do. We play a role in making sure that those people and the charities and the quangos that this town is so full of actually get down to the lab and make a new world for London with houses, with energy, uh, and with signs that work. <laughs>